Okay, 145 X-ray, I'm pumped, I need to put her down. This is 145 X-ray, say again, are you declaring an emergency? Declaring emergency. What's up guys and welcome back to ATC Point of View. My name is Lex and I'm a former military air traffic controller in the Marine Corps. But before we get started, I want to thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. It's a huge milestone in, on YouTube as a new YouTuber. So I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you so much. So in this video, we're going to react to a pilot who encountered an emergency near Virginia Highlands Airport in Virginia. So let's check it out. Copy the approach, 8145 X-ray. 8 approach. Yeah, 8145 X-ray uh, wants to do a 180, come back to Virginia Highlands. Can you uh, vector me back in? For 8145 X-ray, you want to vector to Virginia Highlands, is that correct? That is correct. I'm making a 180. 445 X-ray, roger. Uh, if you're looking for heading to Virginia Highlands, it would be 085. 085, thank you. November 45 X-ray, turn right, heading 090. 8145 X-ray, turning right, 090. Number 45 X-ray on that heading, Virginia Highlands Airport will be 12 o'clock, about 1-2 miles. Advise when you have it in sight, please. 145 X-ray will notify you when you have it in sight, thank you. Real quick, so far, we don't know too much. We just have a pilot, sounds like something's wrong, but we can't really tell. And he's talking to Approach, asking to go back to Virginia Highlands Airport, and Approach is vectoring him back. So let's take a look at the map and see where his position is relative to the airport. Taking a look at this map, Virginia Highlands Airport is right over here. Air traffic controller told the pilot that he was 12 miles away, which is about right here. And now he's heading 090, uh, going towards the airport. If you're unfamiliar with what a heading or a vector is, just imagine a circle. Circle has 360 degrees all around. Now imagine an aircraft in the middle of that circle. So the controller told the pilot to fly heading 090. So 090 is this way. So just a quick explanation of what that is, but let's continue. Tri-Cities Airport, 8145 X-ray. Number 8145 X-ray approach. Yeah, 8145 X-ray, I'm pumped, I need to put her down. Number 8145 X-ray, say again, are you declaring an emergency? Declaring emergency. Number 8145 X-ray, roger. Uh, what uh, assistance do you require? Uh, what's the nature of the emergency, if you can tell me, and uh, what are your intentions? I'm going to assume I just had fuel exhaustion. Number 45 X-ray, Roger, the Virginia Highlands Airport is about six miles east of you. Uh, you don't think you can make it there. Uh, right now, your altitude is indicating 4,200. That's correct. Can I make that? Number 45 X-ray, I don't know if you can or not, but uh, it, it looks like if uh, I'm not sure, are you able to uh, just glide it down to Virginia Highlands? Number 45 X-ray, uh, if you can tell me the uh, uh, on board and the uh, color of the aircraft, please. 45 X-ray, just one person on board and it's blue and white. 45 X-ray, Roger. Can you tell me fuel remaining? Uh, sounds like she's trying to run. All right, number 45 X-ray, Roger. Um, it's uh, again the Virginia Highlands Airport. Right now is about five miles uh, east, uh, northeast of your position. Uh, do you want to continue towards uh, Virginia Highlands or do you see uh, somewhere that you might be able to put it down? Look, and I'm, I don't know if I can. Taking a quick look at this map again, the airport is here. An air traffic controller told a pilot that the uh, airport's five miles east northeast of him. So the pilot's somewhere over here, uh, still tracking into the airport. November 45 X ray, Roger. Um, the only thing I can tell you is uh, uh, Interstate 81 is about uh, I 81 is about two to maybe a mile and a half uh, southeast of your position. Well, I see it. Which direction should I go? Uh, number 45 X-ray, if you want to head towards the interstate, uh, again, it's southeast of your position. The closest park point would be uh, right heading a 140 towards I-81. That I have I in front of me. Number 45 X-ray, affirmative. It's uh, about a mile and a half off your nose if you're heading uh, southeast. Then. Okay, and which direction should I put it down on? Number 45 X-ray, I can't tell you that, sir. It runs uh, southeast to northeast, or correction, southwest to northeast uh, towards uh, Virginia Highlands, actually. Roger that. Number 45 X-ray, use caution. There are obstructions about, uh, the first one's about a mile uh, southwest of your position uh, at uh, 2,000. 
Now, number four, Bob Actuary, did you copy? Uh, there are multiple obstructions to the southwest uh, extending to the south of your position. Uh, the highest one's about 2,900, or is 2,900, and the lowest is 2,000. Okay, 145 X-ray. She's trying to run on and off. Right, number 45 X-ray. Roger, what are your intentions, sir? We'll get somebody on the phone and we'll have them uh, meet you there. Go number 45 X-ray. Roger, so you're planning on putting it down on 81? I don't think I have a choice. Number 45 X-ray. Use caution. Radar contact is lost. I do not see you any longer. Uh, frequency, if you want to stay with me as long as possible, that's fine. You can stay on this frequency and just uh, let me know. Yeah, I'll stay with you. So now the pilot is somewhere over here, and it doesn't look like he's going to make it to the airport, which is right here. So the air traffic controller pointed out the highway to him, Highway 81, which runs parallel to the airport, and he gave him a 140 degree heading uh, to see the highway and uh, try to land on the highway. Another thing I'd like to point out is the pilot asking the air traffic controller which direction he should put it down on. As an air traffic controller, it's not your job to suggest things like that that pilots should do during an emergency. Your job is to provide them with information, and what they choose to do with that information, it's up to them. And the last thing we hear is the air traffic controller telling the pilot that radar contact is lost, meaning that he's no longer observable on the air traffic controller's radar display. This may be due to his altitude because he's descending towards the highway, so they're not able to pick him up again on radar. So he chose to stay on the air traffic controller's frequency, hoping that Maybe once he lands, he'll still be able to communicate with the air traffic controller. Well, let's continue and see how this ends. 45 X ray, 1 Alpha Tango, I can read you. 45 X ray says he's down on 81. Down on 81. I'm sorry, calling uh, Trusty's approach, Sagan. Who was calling Trusty's approach, please? 45 X ray sees exit 10 sign. 45 X ray sees exit 10 sign. All right, there's somebody that's broadcasting on Tri-Cities Approach Control Frequency. I think you're talking to November 4 or 5 X-ray. If you could, let me know what your call sign is and relay that information, please. This is November 721 Alpha Tango. I am relaying for 4 or 5 X-ray. He put it down on 81, and he sees exit 10 sign. Uh, November 721 Alpha Tango, Roger. You said he uh, sees uh, exit the exit 10 sign on I-81. He is down on the ground safely. That's affirmative for 721 Alpha Tango. That is the broadcast from 45 X-Ray. Number 721 Alpha Tango, thank you very much. If you don't mind, stay with me for just a moment um, and uh, let him know that we are getting some people on the phone uh, and just anything that he might need to, if you could relay that to us, we'd appreciate it. Roger that. All right, so we got some good news. The pilot successfully landed on Highway 81, and that information is relayed by another pilot. So sometimes, uh, due to radio coverage, uh, ATC might have a hard time hearing pilots depending on their altitude or uh, distance. But sometimes we use other pilots to help relay information because they might be closer to that aircraft, which is what's happening now. So the pilot made it safely. It's another successful landing. But well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate you guys for sticking with me till the end. And as always, peace.